My name is Dan Haig. I graduated from Golden Gate University in December 2016. I'm a senior financials consultant for a company called Aperio. My name is Justin Hibbard and I graduated uh, Golden Gate University in 2014 and I'm currently uh, head of my own practice, Forward Forensics. My name is Stephanie Dodge and I graduated fall of 2016 and right now I'm working at KPMG and I am a first year associate. I had worked for 12 years as a business journalist and uh, had gotten really interested in investigative journalism, digging into financial statements, uh, financial fraud, that kind of thing, and uh, decided I wanted to change careers to do forensic accounting full time and uh, looked around at all the different programs that were available and was really attracted to Golden Gate University because uh, it was one of the only schools that offered a specialization in forensics. Once I moved into the consulting world, I found that uh, there was a need to understand the complexities of accounting, needing to understand the advanced accounting. I thought, well, I'll get a bachelor's in, in accounting. And, but I discovered Golden Gate University and I discovered that they had the master's degree in accountancy. And when I looked online and I just studied up, I saw the classes that they had and I realized that those classes would really help me in the work I do. Classes around tax, advanced tax, uh, classes around uh, advanced accounting, revenue recognition, uh, government accounting, not-for-profit accounting. Because as a consultant, I'm on many different projects and I have different clients. So having all those uh, accounting classes to choose from was a big benefit to the type of work I do. Like putting together the puzzles, finding what was wrong and fixing it and just putting everything in its place I really enjoyed and I was good at it and I figured if I could do something that I excelled and enjoyed like it doesn't get much better than that. given project, depending on where we are in, in the project timeline, I'll be gathering requirements, interviewing the client, um, looking at their data, looking at things such as um, you know, the suppliers that they have, their chart of accounts, uh, trying to understand the revenue recognition process, how they pay suppliers, how they report on uh, you know, multinational entities, how they report on foreign operations and stuff like that. So. I do that to understand because in consulting, when we're putting in new systems, it's not a lift and shift. Okay, what we want to do is, if a company is going to put in a new accounting system like Workday, they want to get, take advantages of the system and the benefits of that system. The, the bread and butter, I would say, uh, if you're working with attorneys, is one is damages calculations. Um, you have to know how to calculate damages, whether it's lost profits, lost business value, whatever it might be, it's one of the, the main services that attorneys come to forensic accountants to do. Um, they want you to come up with a credible, objective, independent assessment of uh, the quantification of damages, and they want you to be able to communicate it as clearly as possible. So as an associate, I work directly with a senior associate who is often referred to as the in-charge, and they are running the entire audit and they report to the manager and they give me my assignments and as the associate on a particular engagement for a specific client I'm working right alongside the senior to do all the audit test work. And then of course a lot of my work is day to day is working with the client. Um, looking at their systems, looking at their data, uh, trying to understand how they do things, but also understand what they need to do, what will help them uh, achieve their goals. So we have an audit program um, where all of the test work that we're doing is kept in one place. So that say I'm working on, again, I'm working on payroll. No one else can work on that work paper while I'm working on it. That way, there's no crossover. You know, so once I'm done, I check it back in, and then the next person can come in and review it. Associates do the bulk of the test work. The senior associates level right above does most of the planning. They review your work and organize the audit. But as an associate, like we do the meat of the audit. Promotion to senior 
takes about two years. You know, I think this is true also if you're in audit or tax as well. Forensic accounting, very similar in that you're spending a lot of time trying to track down all of the documents that you need to, uh, to review. And uh, sometimes it's a matter of getting those documents uh, through a process like discovery that happens in court. Um, sometimes it's a matter of uh, having to do a little bit of investigation on your own to find documents that your client might not even be aware of exists. Once you have all those documents, it's analysis. It's, you know, this is where the accounting skills, the sort of basic accounting skills that you learn uh, in something like a program at GGU, things like auditing skills, um, financial statement analysis, uh, just the basics of uh, gap accounting all come into play. I'm learning something new every day. And there's some stuff, I mean, there's some stuff, especially as a, a first year associate, that's kind of monotonous, I'm not going to lie. You know, you do, sometimes you do the same test, you know, the same procedure over and over and over again. But that's usually because you don't know how to do anything else. So they're going to give you the assignments that are that are repetitive, you know, that you can you can master that and then you can move on. I found that as I progressed through my career so far, the tasks that I get assigned are getting more and more challenging. And although sometimes they're hard, that's really rewarding. What I love is the discovery of the truth. I love, you know, that digging and digging and getting down to uh, the most uh, credible, believable version of events that you can find that you can back up. I love the process of, of discovering information that perhaps wasn't known or understood. Uh, I love uh, being able to interpret that information and tell people what it really means. What I like is, is to be able to work with the client, show them how the new system can work to their benefit, meet their requirements, meet their needs, and that ultimately what a client wants is they want that system uh, up and running and working as required. It's rewarding to be able to help uh, individuals or small businesses that have been defrauded and are trying to get uh, some, some restitution and uh, that's been very rewarding. And you know, I'd, I'd say just in general, when you feel like um, you've helped justice being served. At the end of the day, I was able to speak the same language as the controllers and the CFO. So when we got in a room and we talk about their challenges, I'm not thinking, well, gee, I don't know what that means. I know what it means. So I would say that the classes were very challenging. Um, I, I wouldn't say they're hard, you know, when you do things that you love, they're challenging. When you do things that you hate, they're hard. And the things that I learned, I applied almost immediately. The things I learned at GGU that helped me uh, range from the, the real sort of basic fundamentals of accounting, um, just learning gap accounting, learning taxation, learning auditing, uh, those sort of basic fundamental skills are things you learn uh, that, that you'll use in, in, I think, any field of accounting. But then on top of that, um, I took really specific forensic courses uh, in some of the basic skills that you need in, in forensic accounting, uh, damages calculations, uh, fraud investigations, uh, valuation. Those sorts of things um, really prepared me uh, in a way that I don't think I could have gotten uh, in any other way except maybe on-the-job training, but it, it gave me um, the preparation that I needed so that once I got on the job, I was already familiar with uh, a lot of the, the, the skills and, and, and techniques that you need to use day-to-day -day on the job. And I think the great thing about GGU is that you have practitioners teaching, and so I might be learning uh, how to calculate damages from someone who's working on a high-profile case during the day and then coming and teaching uh, courses at night at GGU and is giving me the very latest uh, in all of the techniques that are being used in the real world. So that was a real advantage. The pace you have to keep and the energy you have to keep to be able to do the cohort program is very similar to what you need to be able to have to do a busy season. You have to put in the hours, you have to put in the work, you have to keep a smile on your face, you know, and just keep pushing through and know that the rewards at the end are really going to be worth it. So some advice I would give to anybody, if you like 
obviously numbers. If accounting is of interest to you, if you have a bachelor's degree in accounting, definitely go for the master's because I think it pr puts you at a different level than most of your peers. In accounting, what it takes to be successful is to be curious. And being curious about rules and regulations, being curious about transactions, being curious about um, uh, how things are done. I would also just recommend anyone who's interested in accounting to be aware that it's a diverse field and there are many different types of accounting, many different types of work environments and uh, if you're interested in taxation and that's where you want to go, that's great. It's going to be very different from what you might do as an auditor, which is going to be very different from what you might do as a forensic accountant, as a financial advisor. There are lots of different ways that you can craft how your accounting career uh, is going to look and develop. Uh, if you are a people person, there are fields you can go into where you will work directly with clients and have a lot of people interaction. If you're more someone who likes to work independently, there are lots of ways that you can do that. So get to know the whole field and find where your niche fits in. I think to be successful in audit, you really do need to be a, be a, per, a people person. I, I'm somewhat of an introvert and in that I do like my alone time. And, I, and sometimes it's, you need that quiet time, but I like talking to people, I like working with people, and I like being challenged. Mm -hmm.